picks. Gucci Mane for Gucci. Oh, I'm happy for this guy, man. So Gucci Mane has um, been given the blessing and the kind of honor of being um, associated now with Gucci itself. Um, Alexandra Michelli brought him in. He did a photo shoot with Harmony Korain. Um, I think there was some images that we saw popping up of, you know, Gucci Mane walking around Milan looking all weird. And then we saw a picture of, um, you know, um, him and Kira Galore. Is it Kira Gloria? It's Kira something like that, right? Um, in in but in um, Milan too, and it kind of you know everyone's assuming, hmm, this is weird, isn't it? Why would they suddenly be going to Milan? There has to be something afoot here. And again, it kind of transpired that oh, they're actually doing a deal. They've actually kind of partnered up with Gucci um to do an entire campaign, which looks really great, and really incredible. Hopefully, there's some products as well that get tied into it too. That's a Gucci Mane collaboration, but it's just amazing to see his transformation. He's gone from a complete zero or a complete villain to this guy that's completely celebrated. And again, it goes to show that sometimes in life you kind of you you end up making so many mistakes you end up hitting so many hurdles you end up falling over so many times you can sometimes think to yourself you know what is it worth it like am i in the right direction am i going the right way and sometimes life cannot sometimes life isn't like a movie it's not like you do two or three mistakes and then you suddenly get to where you want to get to sometimes it can just be years and years of absolute abject failure just completely fucking up again and again and again and again but the thing about life the thing about most things is that it's all about persistence it really is just about just continuing on and just keeping your head down and just continue to work because what i've realized over the years especially with people in the scene when it comes to streetwear it comes to fashion it comes to music people are hanging around back in the day the people that have really thrived people that have really got to where they got they got their need to get to whether or not they're talented or not is, is another subject but what they've done over the years is that they've just persisted they've just stuck at what they were doing and just continued getting better and better and better expanding their network delivering on their promises um you know securing work putting out personal projects they just they just persisted in that lane and over time because everyone else falls off you become the only de facto person to rely upon and you've got a whole you know a catalog of work that you've done over the years right so you essentially you of course you're going to get the job but then for people that are a bit short-sighted and don't necessarily see the bigger picture you can look at that from the outside and be like oh my god how did he or she get wrong i'm better than her or him but it's like yeah you might be better than her or him in your head or maybe you know on paper but um the evidence doesn't really show that right and they've been present they've been around all these years just pers consistently persisting going 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 and i guess gucci man is a certain sort of certain kind of regard as well right it's sort of he's become like the de facto godfather of atlanta hip-hop um in general right that kind of trap sound people are now respecting him even more so and the fact that he's suddenly turned he's um transformed his mind and his body has been something that people have been very aware of right like he's gone from looking like what he looks to in the past to now looking absolutely incredible and it's not something that you can kind of fake it's something that only comes with hard work effort determination all that malarkey it's not something that comes with there's no pill there's no shortcut there's nothing that you can do that doesn't that's not going to get you there apart from just pure hard work and grit and yeah man like gucci man is just an entire inspiration for all everyone involved look just go look at him look how good he looks right this is this is him on the, i've got him on the screen here from instagram Le Flair uh 1017 i'm sure you guys are aware of but um yeah look how great he looks he just looks amazing he went from this to something else straight away to completely crafted himself into now he looks like a flipping crossfit athlete do you know what i mean looks insane look at that look look at how good he looks there it's an old picture of him there with his pot belly out just looks incredible absolutely insanely good he's got some good before after pictures or look look how ripped he looks there look at that absolutely jacked but yeah he's a huge, he's a huge inspiration to me personally mind body and soul transformation is on another level complete inspiration really smashed it over the years and again the whole gucci collaboration thing is another example of just how um well he's done over the years um i've got the collaboration here video i wanted to quickly show you guys that kind of details and again it only it can only bring a little tear to your eye watching this man if you're a fan of gucci man because this is just incredible to see where he's come from and now suddenly you know he's been flown to milan from gucci in order to you know film this amazing campaign video they did in harmony Corrine. just incredible stuff um it's let's play, it's play here quickly so you see it put some sound on there i can't even flinch let's see. I, I don't know i'm feeling myself out here in rome mm -hmm. I really am i can't even flinch all the clothes been dope at this, at this shoot uh all the people i've been working with even look how he sounds see how clear he sounds he doesn't supposedly he doesn't drink or smoke anymore and you can tell he just sounds so clear clear-minded clear-headed right it's just everything is clear now he's just crystal clear where his path is meant to be and again i think 
when you've seen so much darkness in your life as Gucci Mane, this path of light is just so easy to kind of, you know, walk down along, right? Especially when you've got your, your missus next to you, everything's in place, you've got a good business acumen, just, it just is what it should be. It's just amazing to see. It was like, it wasn't even like work, it's been fun, great dude. There's great energy, Sandra Bissett, McKinley guy, there with Gucci, genuine, you know, so cool, just, man. Me, 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 him, and talking to him, chopping up, I can tell you got a good heart, man, good spirit. And this is the jeweler who makes it. Uh, yeah, but uh, the, the, the marine chain is super chic. I never been this relaxed. I had this much fun. It's, you know, wow. It's so cool. So bright, man, it might blind your sight, but I'll tell you, you better close your eyes. <laughs> I am not playing with you. <laughs> yeah, they cut his pair and they big as pairs. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking cool, man. I'm so happy for him. Honestly, I'm really happy for him. It's just, you don't, Gucci Cruise 2020, Gucci Men promoting it. Honestly, you can't get any better than that. That's, that's the, that is um, probably the archetype of a hero's journey. Right, Joseph Campbell. That is a hero's journey. Like he had to go through the mud. He went through the mud to get to where he's going to. Now look at him. Now look how he's thriving. Now look how he's prospering. Look how look look at how he's shining, right in this arena, just looking like a million bucks. I love the guy, man. Absolutely amazing. Definitely recommend you check it out. Um, campaign photography uh, by Harmony Corain. But yeah, good good stuff from all involved. And, and again, just g good work from Gucci too. They put their money where their mouth is after the whole, you know, blackface stuff. They've really gone, you know, above and beyond to make sure they rectify things. It's done in a very classy way. Nothing too pastiche, nothing too obvious. They didn't send out a million black models on the runway. Nothing too stupid. Just really tasteful ways to kind of correct the wrongs that they've done in the past. And again, slowly but surely they'll get there. That's why I don't believe in cancel culture, right? Because if you cancel Gucci, will they ever learn? You obviously can't cancel them anyway, but will they learn? Will they get to a better place? Will they educate themselves? Will they be able to educate their consumer? Educate the market? Educate the other brands? No. That this way, this slowly, again, it's a bit heavy-handed with the whole, like, you know, cultural, um, what they call cultural sensitivity directors and whatever they're called that they're hiring in fashion, but at least it's something. At least they're doing something. That's great. And back in the in days gone by, these companies would have just ignored it, right? And just carried on churning out offensive product after offensive product. But at least they're acknowledging where they are. Uh, this is probably one of the good things about social justice, isn't it? The fact that this a big company like Gucci can acknowledge um such a social faux pas and try and do better next time around. I think it's great to see, man. I'm happy for Gucci, happy for everyone involved. And again, awesome, awesome. Cam 